Welcome back. My next guest was named Harden Jefferson head football coach back in April, and on Friday he won his first game in HJ by beating Anahuac 31 to 12. Hawks head coach Dwayne Dubois is with me right now. Coach, thank you very much. Thank you, Andrew. Brought Appreciate a couple you. of your players along as well. Brought a couple of guys. Awesome. Yes, sir. So, coach, how important was winning that first game you were head coach at? The first game is very important. Uh, like we talked about earlier, uh, the, the community was excited. Um, it's a funny thing. Uh, someone said something to my wife the other day, and she said. Uh, well, y'all haven't played a ball game yet, uh, but it's it's exciting. I, and you know what? I'm proud of the kids. That's what I'm excited for. They've been working hard uh, since day one. Since I've been there, the, and and you see the excitement. Uh, the players are working hard, and then you see the cheerleaders come out, and the band comes out, the fans are there to support. And then you win that first ball game. It's just an awesome feeling, and uh, I couldn't be proud of our guys. Is there just an added excitement to Harden Jefferson this season? You think? You know, I've never been there before, but uh, right. <laughs> it seems to be. I've, I've, I've had nothing but positive uh, comments uh, to me about uh, some of the things we're doing now, um, about the kids. And anytime there's a change, there's going to be some energy brought into a program. It doesn't matter what it is. And uh, when you inject change into something, there, there's going to be some positive vibes. But there's still that part where uh, people are waiting to see, well, is this real? Are we can do what they say we're going to do, things like that. So. You know, it's, it, was, it was a positive uh, step uh, Friday night, and I, I couldn't be more uh, happier. Jared, big win, 31-12 to 12 over Anahuac. What worked in that game? Just everything worked. <laughs> About everything worked. Uh, just all the players just came together. We came together as a team, and uh, we just put it to them. <laughs> So offensively, you guys put up a lot of points. It was the yes, most sir. points, Josh, you were telling me before we came on set that this team has scored in your time at Harden-Jefferson. Yes, sir. Uh, it all starts with the offense, you know. It starts with the line, and then it goes to the backfield, and, and then from there we have to work as a team, as a group, to get where we need to be. The running game was obviously really important. How much does that help your quarterback? Uh, tremendously. <laughs> we, <laughs> without the, you know, that, we don't have to worry about him getting hit real hard, you know. We just have to just give the, our running backs the ball and hope they hit the right hole and go far. Coach, since practice started, <laughs> August was the first practice day, early August, for everyone across Southeast Texas. Right. How has this team improved? They've improved uh, tremendously. You know, our goal, one of the things I tell our kids is I want them to give total effort every day, every play. That's not just in football, but that's in life in general. But uh, these guys have did that, and, and they've gotten better and better each day. Each scrimmage we've played from scrimmage one, scrimmage two to, to this game. I even saw them guys getting better uh, as we went on the game Friday night. I know new coach, new system, it takes some time for the players to buy in. How long do you think it will take for the entire team to get used 100% to the new system? Uh, at the pace we're going right now, it, w it won't take us much longer than three weeks. We'll be ready for district and we just want to just keep every day just practicing and getting better at this type of offense and our defense that we're doing right now too and we'll, we're just ready just keep winning on Jared um, coach you may want to cover your ears on this question because you guys are taking it week by week where do you where do you think this team will finish in district play <laughs> <laughs> well our goal is to finish first place and that everyone's goal is finish first place of course but as a team I honestly think we could we could pull it off if we as hard as we're working right now as hard as we're working from two days, we can do it. And then Josh, what do you expect to see from Smoldor? I know you guys haven't looked at much film yet, but just based on what you've heard, whether it's just been the last couple of days, you've just heard bits and pieces, what do you expect to see from them? Expecting to play like just the other team would, you know, come out and fight to win, just like we would. First road game, is that going to be a little bit more difficult than your first game being at home? It might, but if we practice hard enough, it probably won't be. Josh, Jarrett, Coach, thanks for joining us on the show Thank tonight. You, I appreciate it. And uh, best of luck this weekend as the season goes on.